بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Continue with the last إذا رأيتم الناس أمات الصلاة When you will see that salat will be dead Salat will not be visible Part of the signs which has been mentioned وطوّلت المنائر that we will see that masajid will be built and the minaras will be very big means a lot of money will go on the external spending of the masjid which tall tall minarets does not benefit the masjid or the musallis in the olden days there was no mic systems there was a need for the sound to reach distances now there is not a need so you will see big big minarets يأتي على الناس الزمان a time will come in my ummah يَجْتَمِعُونَ فِي مَسَاجِدِهِمْ People will go to the masjid وَيُصَلُّونَ They will even read a salat وَلَيْسَ فِيهِمْ مُؤْمِنٍ But you will not find a mu'min, a believer amongst them Meaning that they will read such a salat which will be void of the mercy of Allah Void as mentioned the five different categories of musallis their salat will be void of hidayat لا تجالسوهم do not even sit in their company do not even spend any time with them don't waste your resources on them فليس لله لهم حاجة and Allah himself does not have any حاجة from them another sign أول شيء يرفع من هذه الأمة الخشوء the first thing that will be taken away from this ummah will be khushu hatta la tara fiha khashia in an entire masjid you will see people reading salat but nobody will read what concentration yushiku an tadkhula masjid jama'atin a time will come when you read salat where the masjid may be full what musallis فَلَا تَرَى فِيهَا رَجُلًا خَاشِعًا In the entire congregation, you will not find a single musalli person reading salat with concentration. So the first meaning was that when salat will be dead, nobody will be reading salat at all except few. Secondly is, people will be reading salat, but they will not be reading salat with jama'ah. They will not be reading Salah with Jama'ah. And we find Deen is very easy. It's very simple. A Deenu Yusrun. Allah has made Deen easy. So when a person knows who Allah is, and he knows the greatness of Allah, then he will have the greatness of the house of Allah in. Then read, reading Salah with Jama'ah will not be difficult. The President of America invites somebody to the White House to meet him. What preparation does he make? That's why he said a person who makes wudu at home and goes to the masjid is like a person tying in ihram going for hajj. So you prepare for the White House, you prepare for the President. How much pre preparation are we making for our meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So deen is very easy. This there was one king, he traveled some journey on a route that he doesn't take normally. His feet became very uh, painful and swell, swollen. So. He advised his coaches, next time I go on that road, line the road up with leather. So when I walk there, I don't get the difficulties of the rocks, the stones, etc. And I don't get the pain. So one of his advisors there said, King, why don't we just make for you a softer shoe? So Adinu Yusrun, Din is very easy. But if we don't follow the requisitions and the requirements of Sharia and Deen, then Bazair apparently it seems very difficult and very hard. So Salat of Jama'ah will not be alive in the Ummah. Ibn Abbas, Suila, Rajul, Yasum, Nahar, Yakumul Layl. A person who makes ibadah, the whole day is fasting, all night is in ibadah, wala yashal jama'ah, but he doesn't come to the masjid. Qala hadha fi nar. This person is a sign that he's a Jahannami. As the word here, Yalla no. La antam taliya ibn Adam rasasan mudhaban. That it is better that your ears be filled with molten lead, molten lava. Ayyasma an nida fala yujibu. 
that you hear the adhan, you hear the da'i of Allah calling you to the masjid and you don't go there, that is better for you that molten lead be poured in your ears. So much emphasis has been made on salat with the jama'ah, going to the masajid, لَقَدْ هَمَمْتُ أَنْ أَمُرَ فِتْشَتِي I have a desire to order the youngsters to gather wood and آتِي قَوْمًا يُصَلُّونَ فِي بُيُوتِهِمْ I will personally appoint somebody else to read Salat in the Masjid. I will go to the houses of those people who have no valid excuse of reading Salat at home. فَأَهْرِقُهَا عَلَيْهِمْ And I will burn my own Sahaba alive in their houses to teach the Ummah a lesson. This is Rahmatul Lil Alameen is saying that I will go through the torment of seeing my own Sahaba burn in dunya with fire, but I'm not ready to go through the torment of seeing them in the fire of Jahannam. So Salat with the Jamaat is very emphasized. The Jews have said we are not afraid of the Muslims. The day you will get concerned is on that Friday when the Fajr and the Juma congregation are same. When the amount of Muslims are there for Fajr and Juma are the same, then I will get worried. Mawlana said Khan Sallallahu amongst the first Jamaat that went to Palestine, they seen the Mu'azzin going to the Masjid and after giving Adhan, he left the Masjid. So they asked Hazrat Shaykh, where are you going to? He said, no, I get paid for giving Adhan, I don't get paid for reading Salah. So Salat was Jamaat. Sayyid Musayyib says, last 20 years of my life has not been outside the Masjid. Salatul Rajal fi Jamaatin Tazidu wa Afdal. And it is multiplied, it is more virtuous, 25, 27 times. Some ulama have said to the power 25 or 27, that's around 33 million times the reward. مَنْ صَلَّ الْعِشَاء وَالْغَدَاءَ فِي جَمَاعَةٍ فَكَنَّمَا قَامَ الْلَيْلِ You read Isha and Fajr with Jamaat in the Masjid as if the entire night a person has made ibadat. مَنْ أَقَامَ الصَّلَوَاتَ الْخَمْسِ فِي جَمَاعَةٍ Whoever reads his five salats with Jamaat فَقَدْ مَلَأَ الْبَحْرُ وَالْبَحْرِ عِبَادًا As if you fill the entire ocean worth of reward. I said Muhammad bin Samak passed away at the age of 103. His daily habit was to read 200 rakats nafal. He said for 40 years he never missed salat with the jamaat except when his mother passed away. He said once when he did miss it, he read that salat 25 times with the hope of the reward. He heard a voice from the unseen say that, Oh Muhammad, you may have read the salat 25 times. What about the Ameen of the Malaika? You can't get that. There's a separate virtue. So much emphasis that Nabi Alayhi Salaam, while on his deathbed on the last few moments he was fainting and he managed what great difficulty to make wudu. And on the shoulder of Ibn Abbas and another Sahabi with his feet dragging on the ground, he went to the masjid to read Salah. And it said about Mawlana Ali also, he was very particular on his last moments. He also made sure that he made Salat with Jama'ah. Man salla lahu arba'una yawman fi jama'atin. Whoever reads 40 days Salat with Jama'at and he gets Takbir Aula, you will get two certificates. Bara'atum min nar a certificate of the freedom of Jahannam. Wa bara'atum min nifaq and protection from hypocrisy. On the day of Qiyamah, when mankind will be ordered in front of all of humanity, everybody will be told to make sajda. وَيُدْعُونَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَتِعُونَ There will be some people who their backs will become stuck and stuff, and they won't be able to make sajda. Why? حَيْثُ يُنَادَى بِهِنَّ When the adhan was given, they will not, they were, did not comply and follow to ma'adhin. Hazrat Abdul Razak says, منذ أربعين سنة ما سمعت الأذان إلا وأنا في المسجد. That 40 years has passed of my life when the adhan went. When the adhan went, I was in the masjid. I was in the masjid. 
So Salat with Jamaat is very important. Let us try to be very particular about this. Inna lillahi malakan yunadi inda kulli salatin. That every Salat and Elan is made by the Farishta. Ya Bani Adam, qumu ila niranikum allati uqaddumuha bis Salat. That go and go extinguish the fire which you've ignited. Go extinguish the fire which you have uh, ignited and started. Maftad Allah ala khalki ba'da tawheed. If there was anything more virtuous after tawheed, then salat, then Allah would have commanded the malaika فَمِنْ هُمْ رَاكِئِ وَمِنْ هُمْ سَاجِدْ وَمِنْ هُمْ قَائِمْ وَمِنْ هُمْ قَائِدْ But the postures of the malaika and the postures of salat, the postures of the malaika under the postures of salat, some stand in, some in ruku, some in sajda. المسجد بيت كل تقين the muttaqi and the pious, that is their house. وَتَكَثْفَلَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ كَانَ الْمَسْجِدْ بَيْتَهُ And Allah takes responsibility to protect the person who makes the house of Allah his house. And Allah will guarantee him passing the pull sirat. إِذَا رَأَيْتُمُ الرَّجَلْ يَعْتَادُ بِالْمَسْجِدِ You see a person who is habitual going to the masjid. فَشْهَدُوا لَهُ بِالْإِيمَانِ It's a sign he has iman. In أُمَّارَ بُيُوتِ اللَّهُمْ أَهْلِ اللَّهُ the people who frequent the masjid, they are the family of Allah. They are the people of Allah. Man alif al masjid alifahu Allah. Whoever is familiar with the masjid, Allah subhanahu wa taala will make himself acquainted with that person. Man jalasa fil masjid, fa inna ma yujalisu rabbahu. Sayyid bin Masayib is saying, whoever sits in the masjid is sitting with Allah. As it Ali that you say, إذا مات العبد يبكي عليه مصلاه من الأرض. Wherever he used to reach Salat, when this person passed away, in the place where his amal used to go into the heavens, then from a bucket alayhi musama, he quotes his ayah saying that the heavens and the earth cry, and according to Ibn Abbas, for 40 days, the earth and the sky cry for this person. It is said that on the day of Qiyamah, those people that used to read Salat will be told to go into Jannah. فَتَأْتِ أَوَلُ الزُّمْرَى The first group will come. وُجُوهَهُمْ الْكَوَاكِبُ And their faces will be like shining stars. And the malaika will meet them. And will ask them, who are you? They will say, نَحْنُ الْمُصَلُّونَ مِنْ أُمَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ We are those people who are particular about Salat. Then they will be asked, what type of salat should you read? كَمَا إِذَا سَمِئْنَا الْأَذَانِ قُمْنَا إِلَى الطَّهَارَةِ When we heard the adhan, we started making hudu. وَلَا يُشْغِلُنَا غَيْرُهَا And we did not get engaged in anything else. فَتَقُولُ لَهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ And the malaika will say, yes, you are worthy of this. Then the second group will come. أُولَٰئِكَ فِي الْحُسْنُ وَالْجَمَالِ And their beauty and radiance will be seen on their faces as if they were moons. فَتَقُولُ لَهُمُ الْمَلَٰئِكَ مَا أَنْتُمْ هُوَا يُوْ They will say, we are the musallis of the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. And what is your special trait? كُنَّا نَتَوَضَّعْ قَبْلَ الدُّفُولِ وَقْتِهَا Before the time would come in, we will make hudhu. The malaika will say, you are worthy of this reward. Then another group that is Zumratu Thalitha Fawqa Haulai Fil Husn Wal Jamal. They will be more beautiful, they will be more radiant than the previous two groups. Ka'anna wujuhahum as shams. As if their faces are like the sun. The malaika will say, You are the most beautiful of people that we are seeing. What's your special trait? They will say, Nahnu al Musalluna. مِنْ أُمَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ We are the Musallis of the Ummah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم And you will be asked, what was your speciality? كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ الْأَذَانِ وَنَحْنُ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ When the Adhan used to go, we used to be in the Masajid. The Malaika will reply, this reward is apt for you. This reward is apt for you. So, 
Al Musalli, we've done five types. Ibn Al Qim is also classified it. And he said, Fal Qismul Awal Al Mu'aqab, a person who will be punished and taken to task that he does not do his wudu properly, he doesn't read his salat, he's not, not particular with salat or the jama'at, he will be taken to task. Al-Thani al-Muhasab, a second a person will be accountable. He may be punished, may be not punished, but Allah will interrogate him. He's particular about the times of salat, about performing wudu properly, he knows the masail, etc. But, fil was wasa. He has a shortfall in his concentration in Salat. وَأَمَّا الْقِسْمُ الثَّالِ Third one. وَهُوَ مُكَفِّرٌ عَنْهُ That this person here will be forgiven for his flaw. He will fulfill all the requisites. He will read Salat. وَذِ جَمَعَةٌ وَجَاهَدَ نَفْسُ فِي دَفِي الْوَسَاوِسِ But he is making effort to get concentration in Salat. And he does not steal from his salat. He doesn't read the hush uh, in a rush and, and haste and just to finish his salat, but he's making a concerted effort to perfect his salat, then he will be forgiven. Wal qismur rabi. The fourth type of person is al muthab, a person who will get the rewards and the benefits of salat. And who is he? He fulfills all the requirements. He reads Salat with Jamaat. That is Taghraqa Kalbuhu. And his heart is engaged in Salat. And he reads the Salat how he should read. And the fifth type, Al Qismul Khamis, Muqarrab min Rabbihi. The one Musalli who is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He fulfills all the requisites. He reads Salat or the Jama'at in the Masjid with all the Masail. He does not get affected with Wasawis and whispers of Shaitan. And his Salat is his life. He is engaged in Salat. And his Salat is like the Salah of Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Nabi Alaihi Wasallam used to tell Bilal, give the Adhan Ya Bilal. Arihna biha, arihna biha. O oh, Bilal, give the adhan, give us some comfort and solace. I cannot wait for the salah. Ju'ilat is salatu, qurwata aini. Salat has been made a coolness to my eyes. This is the fifth category, and that is the musalli, is the right and the proper musalli. Trying to get into habit of reading. Surah Baqarah in our houses. Iqra'u Surah Al-Baqarah fi buyutikum. Make it a habit to read Surah Baqarah in your houses. Man qara'aha fi bayti laylan. Whoever he reads it in his house at night. Lam yadkhul al-shaytanu baytahu thalatha layalin. Three nights the shayateen will not come into his house. Wa man qara'aha naharan. Lam yadkhul al-shaytanu baytahu thalatha tayyam. Three days the shayateen will not come into that house. As mentioned previously, and it's very important, we should try to make it a habit to read 25 or 27 times. Istighfar, Allahumma ghfil lil mu'minin. Oh, Allahumma ghfil li jameel mu'minin. Oh, Allahumma ghfil lil mu'minin wal mu'minat. Allahumma ghfil li jameel mu'minin wal mu'minat. Wal muslimin wal muslimat. Whatever is easier. Nuh alayhi salam made the dua Rabbi filli wa li walidayya wa li man dakhla baytiya mu'mina wa li al-mu'minin wa al-mu'minat He made dua for the mu'minin Ibrahim alayhi salam made dua Rabbi filli wa li walidayya wa li al-mu'minin Nabi alayhi salam also has been told wa staghfili dhambik wa li al-mu'minin wa al-mu'minat Likewise, a person who makes this dua 25, 27 times he will get the reward of all the believers and some riwayat and some mention has come from Adam alayhi salam till the day of Qiyamah. He will become mustajabu dawat. It is a sadaqah for him. For, for him. May Allah give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru dawana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.